The P-51 Mustangs that raced overhead gave me quite the scare as I landed my ME-262 on October 4th. Attacking our jets on takeoff and landing has become a very common and effective Allied tactic. These vital stages of flight are when the aircraft is most vulnerable. On October 5, 1944, we received orders to bomb rail and transport facilities in the city of Tilburg. Six ME-262s would take off to complete this objective, each carrying one 500 kilogram bomb. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to episode number four of our ME-262 career. Go ahead and get everything set up. We are taking off in a flight of six with one 500 kilogram bomb strapped underneath us. So we want to be sure we are good to go for takeoff. Let's get a little extra flap going. And we are golden. I want to begin to slowly throttle up and get this aircraft in the air. We are bombing enemy rail facilities near Tilburg. And we have one 500 kilogram bomb to do the job as well as our MK-108 cannons. And we are rolling. I should have held down the brakes and let both the engines uh, spool up all the way, but it should be okay. Adjust our stabilizer a little bit. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, 150 kilometers per hour and climbing. Breaking 200 now. And here's the end of the runway. I'm going to have to pull up. Okay, gear up. Flaps up. I'll gear up first. All right. Gear up, flaps up. And we will bang towards the target area now. Not bad at all. You can see the other 262s beginning to roll down the runway. It looks like number two is almost at the end. Oh, number two's airborne right there. Number three is almost at the end, and perfect. I'll turn on a heading of around 240, and this will take us to the target area. That should be sufficient. Perfect. And we will head towards the target. Let's see here. Yep, here's our target area, uh, Tilburg. We do have a pretty prominent airfield there, uh, Gliz. Gills. It's a pretty major... Uh, allied airfield so it may encounter some action around that area and if that's the case we'll just do what we did last time drop our bomb and get the hell out of dodge that worked fairly well for us okay here we are the flight is closing in on tilburg which is at our 12 o'clock right there off our nose let's go ahead and bring up the gun sight and get ready i'm gonna climb slightly higher so we can drop our bombs at a fairly decent altitude we are currently cruising at around 510 20 kilometers per hour engaging fighters to the northeast Oh, that's going to be a, a little bit concerning. Do a quick scan here. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there's our escort. Our escort's actually uh, some BF-110s of all things. Okay, I see what's tracking us. All right, full throttle. Let's try to figure out where these uh, railroad hubs are. Try to find a train. Drop our bomb and get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, I think I, that awning in the middle, that's the rail station. I'm not seeing any trains or anything, so we'll just roll in on that. Throttle back.
We'll use the Revy site to bomb. Down all the way. Use some rudder, which is not very effective in this aircraft. Bombs away. That's probably gonna that's gonna miss, I know it. That was not very good, but we have that uh Looks like a P-47 on our six. Yeah, that was a whiff. Yep, that's a jug. Hello there. Out of all things, they sent BF 110s as escort. That's uh, less than suitable. Looks like the P 47 is kind of breaking off a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. Keep my eye on them. And roll in on a six. Uh, that was a mistake, buddy. All right, we're on him. Just keep checking around us. He has to have buddies. You would think. So one ten. <laughs> Throttle down. Oh boy. Obviously sharp turning maneuvers are not gonna work in this jet. And a couple of good hits right there. Doesn't, oh, the 110's laying into him. Oh, and he's toasted. Yeah, he's going down. On fire and everything. Good kill. I'm gonna swing back around towards the town and see if there's anything I can strafe. Cause that that bomb was absolutely disgraceful. <laughs> I got two town buildings apparently, and that's not really what I was aiming for at all. A couple of other aircraft over here. There's one flying right over the town. What are you? Looks friendly, possibly. There's a train. 12 o'clock right on the crosshair. We'll head for that. Looks like something's making a diving attack on the train. Let's see. Yep, the bomb just landed. Bam. There we go. That was good. Hopefully this smoke clears so I can make my gun run. See if we did anything. Uh, probably caused some damage, then it destroyed the locomotive, however. Make another run. Yeah, I was trying to adjust. Oh, well, now I have some rudder authority. I don't know. In a dive, this thing just very hard to realign and stay on target. I probably should have kept onto my bomb, but. With that P-47 tracking me, I wasn't... I was getting a little nervous, so... Probably made the right call there for my survival. 
Okay, there's the locomotive. Another pass. Hopefully we can destroy this thing and head on home. There we go. That's a lot of <laughs> train cars and locomotives definitely destroyed as long with, probably along with the tender there. Got some secondary explosions going off. Oh, look at all that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. There's a Gills airfield right over there. I might check that out and see what's going on. Looks like a few more cars are left on the train, however. Let's just plug a few holes in them. And then we'll meander our way towards the airfield. Yeah, there's some cars back there. That was close. A little close to the tree. All right, let's head towards Gills. Looks like the other 262s are roaming about. There it is, 11 o'clock. We got any parked aircraft on the ground. The fuel silos, anything like that. Those are fun to blow up. Yeah, definitely some aircraft looks like Spitfires. It's a pretty populated airfield. All right, we'll go for this one. I'll try to make my shots nice and accurate. I've been... There we go. That's a Spitfire destroyed. Uh, I'm going to go back around. I'm not going to try to shoot that one. I was really thinking about it. I'm sure you can tell, but probably a good idea just to uh, come back around and make another pass. I don't see any more uh, P-47s. I'm sure that one that we shot down had a wing man, but I don't know where he went off to. I'll just continue to strafe these aircraft on the ground. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of anti-aircraft defenses here is a little peculiar. This one right there. I'll aim for him. All right, two guns are out of ammo. And that does not leave me with very much ammunition. So I think I may just save the rest just in case we need to defend ourselves for the journey home. Wanna have my comrades follow me and return to base and we'll get the heck out of here. I do believe our heading needs to be around 070 for the return trip. Let's take a look. 
Yeah, zero seven zero, perfect. And we're gonna climb up to around 1.5 kilometers to get on home. Don't wanna to be too close to the ground and attract all of that anti-aircraft fire. There's a few aircraft way out there. Looks like the those may be the one tenths. Overall, a fairly quiet mission in terms of, you know, an allied response, but I'm not complaining. We did fairly well. Two aircraft, six railroad vehicles, two heavy weapons, and two buildings. Anyway, we'll fly on to our home airbase, and I'll get back to you folks whenever we are uh, on landing approach. Oh, just realized I wasn't recording. We are coming in for a nice and quick landing, a little faster than I would like here, but I actually had an engine malfunction. There we go. My bad, thought I was recording. <laughs> oh boy, oopsies. For some reason, oh there we go, turn the engines off. Oh boy, break, break, break. Rolling off the tarmac here. Into the dirt, yeah I knew we were going a little hot. Hey, but no bounces, at least there's that. May need a tractor. But yeah, I had an engine failure for some reason. For some reason, when I, I, I went to idle and then these little guys unlocked and shut off my engine. So I was really just gliding in at a very high speed and I didn't want to go around because if I obviously have no power at all and I couldn't make it all the way around, that would have been a very sticky situation. So this was better than the alternative, I suppose. Huh. I, I wonder how that happened, though. I didn't mean to cut off my engines, but let's check the plane. The plane's okay. We're all good. I'm going to take a little off-roading. And we're not we're not too far. <laughs> uh, I say that, but that, that is kind of a far distance. We may need a tractor. All the mechanics are going to be very pleased with that. Let's go ahead and finish that mission. Oh, that was a uh, disaster averted. Not too bad. Okay, a uh, 50 minute mission, two aircraft destroyed, six railroad vehicles, two heavy weapons, and two buildings. We did not get credit for that aircraft that was in that P-47 we hit. The BF-110 probably was the one that destroyed that, but. Well, thank you all for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed this mission and stay tuned for episode number five of our ME-262 career. This is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.